living our absolute best life. The food here has been so good. Like every single thing we've had has been amazing. We cannot wait to share with you. That's right. In this video, we're going to be counting down the best food and restaurants across the island. So stay tuned. After a bit of an adventure parking, we're finally parked and we're heading to our first restaurant here in Maui, which is called Down the Hatch. I mean, this truly might be one of the best meals of my life. It's ridiculous. How were your sweet potato tacos? So good. The mango on it was so fresh, and there's pineapple and sloth. Amazing. Down the hatch, Lahaina, Maui. One of the best meals I ever had. I got a crab and lobster uh, stuffed grilled cheese. Oh, it was to die for. If you like crab and lobster, it was amazing. Sun Steakhouse here at our hotel. trying to teach Deanna the difference between how steaks are cooked. Rare, medium rare, well, I medium well. I well and rare confused. I don't know why, but Zach always has to out Maui's not letting us down with the food. That meal was amazing. The steak was great and the sides were huge and really, really good. After all the adventures we had today, I'm starving. getting back late. If you're ever on the road to Hana, stop in Paella Town. Um, the Paella fish market was absolutely to die for. And it was cheap, 23 bucks for mahi, uh, huge portions for the rice and potatoes. Uh, we can't say enough good things about it because again, for the money, you're not gonna get fish of that quality and of that quantity anywhere else here on the island. Anna is getting all dolled up for the evening because tonight we are going to one of the most talked about, most highly rated, um, and most exciting restaurants in Maui, which is Mama's Fish House. So we've got a reservation at five o'clock. Reservation sell out about six months in advance, so you do have to book them early, and we're gonna enjoy ourselves and see. Walking into Mama's Fish House and the views are spectacular. No. I just ordered the number one selling dish at the number one restaurant in Maui. Mahi. It's not on the menu. It's not on the menu. But it's mahi stuff with crab and lobster, and it sounds really, really good. I don't even like lobster, and I don't want to it, so it sounds great. <laughs> I didn't think I liked mushrooms, but maybe I do. This is our appetizer, haleakala beef. This is papaya that's grilled on it. And then tomatoes, beef, maybe onion. That was so good. There were so many flavors going on. It was amazing. I am 
I'm going to try really hard to recreate it at home, but I don't know if it's going to happen. This looks absolutely unreal. So you've got the crab and mahi stuffed, or crab and lobster stuffed mahi, the lobster tail. Oh, can't wait. They say that this lobster tail was caught in the most remote inhabited island in the world. That's 100% the best seafood meal I've ever had in my life and definitely up there with best meal ever. Oh, the flavors were just so good and I, I'm a sucker for crab and lobster so you stuff that in anything and I'm gonna be a fan. They give you napkin or towels at the end to clean up with and they smell like almond. This is un <laughs> Just finished up at Leota's Kitchen for lunch. Uh, the food was just so-so, but the pies, oh my gosh, that's what they're known for. They were great. We got uh, the banana cream and the apple crisp, and they were both phenomenal. We uh, even saved a little extra for a little snack later tonight. So tonight we're dining at Fleetwoods here in Lahaina uh, in Maui, Hawaii. I'm excited because I just found out it's on the roof and it looks like it's gonna be some great views a little bit before sunset so we probably won't catch the sunset here but it's gonna be a great night. It's actually owned by Mick Fleetwood of Fleetwood Mac so kind of cool. For the second time this week we just ordered the chef special which is how you know it's good which is gonna be beef wellington with a slew of sides and lobster tail on so far. These are the corn and crab fritters in a jalapeno sauce. Sadly, one of our last nights here in Hawaii, so we're taking a chill, walking down to Whalers Village and just grabbing some pizza for dinner. There's been a development. Deanna left leave me to defend all this food by myself and a bird came and stole a piece of her ham. <laughs> he took my ham! All of my pieces of ham. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video uh, of our wonderful eating experience here on Maui. Uh, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Uh, if you haven't seen our other Maui videos, you're going to want to check them out. Plus, it really helps us. We really appreciate it. So. What do you think your favorite restaurant was here on the island of Maui? So first off, nothing we had was bad, and I really very good that. food here. Everything very good was food. good, all genres. Best very, eating very trip good. we've had this year for so far. sure, and I wasn't expecting that, so very pleased by that. Um, but my favorite place was probably the Paella Fish Market, I think it was called. 
Um, but they have a few locations across the island, um, lots of great fish options. They had some other things on the menu, um, but very pleasantly surprised by the salmon I got there. Um, they had rice and this really delicious um, coleslaw, so good. And my favorite was Mama's Fish House. Uh, it's hard to beat. Now it is very hard to get into. You gotta make reservations three to six months in advance and it's also very expensive. Um, but my close runner up being down the hatch. Nice <laughs> we thing about- went twice, it was so good. Nice thing about down the hatch is it's easy to get into, no weight, and it's very, very reasonably priced compared to everything else here. So check both of those out for sure. Yes. Um, thanks again for watching guys. Make sure to like and comment.